Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Embroidery Hub. We recently shared a video on how to create your own face mask using only your embroidery machine. But for this episode, we're tackling on face mask, this time using our forehead machine to show you how to quickly create face mask for mass production. Before we move on with our tutorial, I'd like to remind you guys to please like and subscribe and comment below. You can also find more tips, tricks by joining our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. As always, the link is below. Let's get started. Okay, so these are the materials we're going to be using. We're gonna use our scissors, our snips like always, some scotch tape, measuring tape, and uh, two different types of straps. We also have our fabric and we have our uh, cutaway stabilizer. Uh, we have a total of two yards of cutaway stabilizer and two yards of fabric. So this fabric we purchased from Joanne's store. You can find this in either Michael's or even online. Uh, this specific fabric cost of, of $14.38 for two yards and the straps we also uh, purchased them in Joanne's store and these are two different straps they're both uh, going for about three dollars so the total was $6.98 and we're only going to be using uh, about half of uh, the amount of the other one so you're saving money there as well so I want to remind you guys you're able to do this with any machine you have at home you can do this in bulk or you can do it one at a time uh, we're also going to be putting on the link below a PS file that we're going to be providing you for you to be able to you know, use on any machine. And I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, this would take around 10 minutes to do on a, a small machine if you're doing one at a time. So this is pretty fast design to do. Um, in this case, we're going to be doing 16 in total. I should say it should take us around 30 minutes or maybe less. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put our hoop down, then put your stabilizer and make sure you hoop it as nice and tight as you can. So just go ahead and pin the corners first so we can have nice stretched area here. We're gonna do that corner now and now we're gonna be doing the middle. The last thing will be the edge, each side and Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to put the hoop inside of my machine and lock it in. Okay, so now that we have our hoop ready with our stabilizer, we're gonna go into our panel. And in our panel, we're gonna choose the design that's going to be on our design settings. I'm gonna choose the mask, here we go, you can see it nice and neat there. We're gonna press the select button, and yes, I want to enter it into my embroidery. Now, you're going to have this option on all of your uh, panels. Most of the panels have this, so just go to your settings, and in your settings, you're going to see your the, the font, how it's facing. If it's facing directly towards you, slanted, tilted, and if you could even multiply them. So to take up as much as we can, uh, on our fabric, we're going to do, uh, I would say two. Let's say I want to have two, one next to the other. And I'm gonna press the two, I'm gonna press enter, I'm gonna press okay. I think it's better if we put the mask uh, tilted to the side. So let's go ahead and tilt it facing up. Press okay, here you can see how it moved up. Now if I have the two and maybe add it, some space to it, let's say a 140, and press OK, that's in millimeters. You can see here I'll have the two. Now I think it's better if I give it a little bit of extra space. Uh, I would say maybe 160 millimeters and press OK. Here we go, you can tell there we have some space. That's good. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna choose the hoop again just so I can center uh, the, the design. So I'm gonna go to my hoops, I'm gonna press the G hoop which is the one I'm gonna be using is a sash frame. Now remember guys, you will have this on your panel. Just look at your settings or call your technical support. 
Uh, every panel should have this. Even if it's an older style machine, you should always be able to multiply them. If not, you could do that on your software. You can multiply it on your software and you can flip them and do all kinds of stuff so you can get as much fabric as you can and save as much money as you can with this. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna press okay, I'm going to escape. I'm gonna go back to my home screen and now I'm going to see what needle I'm on. I want to, this is more for tracing, so I'm gonna to go to needle number one and move my needles over to number one and I'm going to see over where my location is. And if I can move it a little bit towards the side, left or right, maybe I can get a little bit more out of it. So I'm going to do that now. So that's about the same. We're good here. See right there, we could probably just move it over just a little bit, but we have enough space on each side. So that's what's important. We're not gonna hit any metal uh, or any hoop on either side of the big hoop of the sash frame. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now I'm going to choose my colors. Go over, I'm going to change it over to another color. Now, you should have the same option on your machines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press uh, the frame out option, which what it'll do is after it's done doing the first step, it's going to stop and wait for me to do uh, anything else that I need to do before I press start. So it's, a, it's like an automatic stop on the design. Even if it's not done through the digitizing, you can still do it through your panel and any panel could do this. I wanna remind you guys that I'm gonna press the frame out. You can see now I have P here, which is for a pause. I'm gonna have another one here and the last one. So in each uh, spot, I'm going to uh, press a frame out option. It's going to stop, it's gonna come out and I'm going to be able to put my garment or my straps. Now I'm gonna press the OK button and the escape and we should be good to go. Now, the next step is pressing the start button. The design, the way it's digitized, is going to do the first trace and then it's going to do, uh, after you put the fabric, it's going to grab the fabric. After that, we're going to be putting the straps and after the straps, we should be uh, ready to put the other uh, fabric and it is done. I'm gonna press the start. Okay, so now that the machine stopped, I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to measure and see where I have to cut my fabric. Say about 13 of width, about 11 of height. I need to cut one, two, three, four, 13. Okay, so I want you guys to remember this is uh, doubled. So just one, I put it as a double. So basically this is gonna be for two masks each. Now I put them all on top of each other. And the next thing I want to get is height, it's going to be 11. So the first step is putting over uh, the first fabric facing up making sure you're covering all your edges on all corners, all sides. Here we go, this is good right here. Covering right here, this is good. Covering on this side. I'm missing a little bit towards this side right here. Let's see, all right over here. Perfect. And the same thing to the rest of them. And the last step is just press the start button. All right, so now we're going to be cutting our straps. For this run, I need a total of 16 straps. We're going to be doing the straps around your ear this time, not, a, not around the head. So we're going to use less uh, uh, a strap. Last time we did, I believe it was 11, but this time, since it's just around the ear, we're going to be using a six. So now we're going to be placing uh, the tip on each corner. The shorter tip is gonna be facing towards the outside and we have to make sure it's not going to grab 
around. That's about it. So let's go ahead and place them. Next step, we're gonna be using regular scotch tape. Making sure the tips are where they should. So now the design is going to get all the corners and it's okay for you to have the tape. Uh, the needle will go right through it and you can take it off later. I'm gonna press start. All right guys, so after it grabs the corners uh, of the strap, the next thing we're going to do is put this fabric over. When you're putting this fabric over, just make sure that you're going over uh, the edge. So every corner, on this side, this corner, this side here. Okay, that looks good. And all right, so this is good. We're gonna be doing the same thing for the rest of them. All right, so now we have all the stitch outs. We're ready to just start trimming around it. First thing we wanna do is flip it around and just tear it off. This is tear away, so just tear it off. Make sure once you're cutting around the edge of the mask, you're gonna see on one side, you're gonna have an opening. This opening, this is where we're going to be flipping the, the, the mask over. Make sure when you're trimming this area to just get it a little bit higher than usual because that part is gonna go inside afterwards. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see right here, I cut across it. I didn't go on the round area. I just went from this point to this point right across and then I'm, now I'm gonna go all around. So let's go ahead and do that. You don't have to be precise. You can have some space between your trim. So now, after you cut around, last thing is flipping it inside out. And that's what we're gonna be doing now. On the side, let's go ahead and get this side. We spent a total of $14.38 for two yards of this fabric and $6.98 for two straps, which I believe each is about four yards. The total was $21.36. And if you divide that by the 16 mass that we were able to do with it, we have a cost of $1.34 per mask. I've seen these sell for about $10 each. So if you like to do that, you have at least a profit of 140. That's really good. All right, so we have the total of 16 masks. We have a couple different strap colors and we're pretty much set. So that's a lot of masks. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, 
Also check out and join our Facebook group, The Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery to connect with others, decorators, get more tips and tricks. And uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.